Hey guys, today's episode is going to be more of The Walking Dead. I'm going to continue episode one, season one. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Um, keep watching my videos if you guys want to keep this flow of The Walking Dead going. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy. What's he talking to the cards for? Battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Is that him or is that, I think that might be his parents. And I got the batteries. Where is she at? Where is that news reporter at? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I need to give this battery to her. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What else do I need to do, man? Another energy bar. <laughs> I have two now. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Didn't I already do this part? I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. How his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. My bad, sorry guys. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answer. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. I'm 
sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Dang, probably their parents. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Come the zombies, I bet. Where did Clementine come from? I can't. I can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. First aid kit. was that? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Just keep walking around, looking around? I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Uh. 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 Do you have kids? You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Like, oh, oh damn. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Oh my okay? god, it's a lot of blood. Finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. No way, the first aid kit that was we just searched right there. How 
are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that side of the street. Oh, the keys were outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. His face looks so weird. Oh, I can use the remote, probably. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Who's gonna do it? <laughs> it's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All oh, that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Did he try to open it with the TV remote? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Hey, let's hide. 
nasty fortification job over there. Can you not reach that brick till dug together? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Well, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Didn't I already give her the batteries? Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. I'm stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Well, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. <laughs> Counsel him?
It's that much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I don't think I need any more. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. <laughs> this is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. How am I supposed to get it? Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching my video, I'm gonna uh, end it here, I know I didn't get past too much, but it's really bugging me how I can't pass it, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you guys later, and hope you enjoyed, subscribe.